We turn now to Central America. We now know that at least 170 people have died after Thursday's tragic mudslide in El Cambrai, Guatemala. Gerardo Torres now is joining us live for the latest as Guatemalans continue to mourn what is a horrible, horrible tragedy there. Gerardo, thanks for the latest. Uh, the last time we talked yesterday, we knew that 161 people had died, and now that number uh, now that number is much higher. Considering that hundreds still remain missing, do we really have any idea how high that number will go? Well, hello, Cody. Uh, Guatemala, the expectations of still finding people alive are, are very low. Uh, we said yesterday was like that. And the last day, the rescuers said that there was a possibility to still find people under the mud alive. We were talking about more than 170 people that have been found dead. There are still 200 missing. The operation of rescue and taking out the mud has uh, decreased its velocity because now uh, well, they are very close to where the houses were and maybe uh, they, they could be find uh, dead bodies or, or other things that they have to have a more delicate treatment. Uh, we're talking about that in the last days, more than 12,000 tons of mud were taken out after the, the landslide and many houses well, that were destroyed, uh, people were inside of them. There are still 300 people missing. Uh, the Guatemala government has ensured that they will continue until they find all the bodies, but they have been very severe. So they have very really slow expectations of still finding people alive. All right, Gerardo, we're having a little bit of trouble there uh, hearing what you're saying, but we did catch sort of the gist of it there. Gerardo Torres reporting on that tragedy in Guatemala. Gerardo, thanks.